The transition metals are the metals that make up that central block from SC to ZN and down. Let's pick uh, iron since it's actually mentioned in the syllabus. So what iron can iron make? Well, following the rules up till now, you could add a whole bunch of electrons, 10 of them, and then it will be isoelectronic to krypton. Oh, now there's a problem there, is that iron is a metal. Metals lose electrons because they're electrophobic, and we've just forced it to gain 10 electrons. No, 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 that can't be what happens to iron to make it into an ion. Okay, so how many do we have to lose? We have to lose eight electrons to make it isoelectronic to argon, to have the same electronic configuration as argon. That seems possible, but they are, they've only ever found iron-2 and iron-3 ions. So something strange is going on here. So what's the solution? Iron-2 and iron-3, why is it that? Well, that's a higher level idea. This is SL. You don't need to know it. There's a whole bunch of extra work you have to do to get to the understanding, and if you're SL, it doesn't matter. So these transition metals there, or you could argue those are the transition metals, a slightly smaller box, but you don't really need to worry about that in SL. They have different ions. Copper can be plus one or plus two. Titanium could be two and four. They're all different. You don't need to know why.